hello guys welcome back to another video how are you guys all doing i hope your days are all going well on today's video i want to show you how to make a doman sleeve a-line kaftan dress kaftan dress are one of the like the easiest outfit you can rock and at the same time it's also easy to make yes so this is the beautiful african print i'm using it comes by length 45 of course and um, usually I would love to fold along the length of 45, but if I do that, because it's a full length gown, that means I'm going to be having some joining at the lower part. So here is by 45. If I fold it along this way, which means that I'm going to be having a joining at the lower part because the full length of the gown is 55. I hope you understand why this comes by 45. So I have to fold it along this longer length to achieve my full length of the gown. Okay, yeah, so I'll go ahead and do that now and place it on the table. So here I have the fabric folded. You can see this. So I have the entire length of the measurement I need, which is the 55. I added extra two inches for the hemming at the upper part, that's the shoulder part, and also hemming at the lower part. So I have my complete length here. And of course, I also have it folded into two parts. I'll be putting up for the, both the front and the back piece together. Okay, yeah. So, getting started, first of all, I'm going to come to this top part, the ending part here. I'm going to take my shoulder slopes. I'm going to take one inch here. So, by the way, reminding you that it's a dormant slip, like I said, which means it's an extended shoulder slip. In other words, the sleeve is going to be cut together with the outfit. Okay. So, I'll come here and mark one inches at the tip, which is enough for me for the slope. Then I'll come to this other parts and mark three inches so what i'm going to do now is to take it from here and get my slope to this end point so here i have my slope drawn out okay so what i will do now from this slope point i'm going to take my sleeve opening so the sleeve opening depends on your choice but i want it to be like 11 inches is okay for me but because there's going to be a joining like half of an inch or this part and also at the at the armhole part of the sleeve half of an inch here and there so i'll just make it 12. so from this slow point i'm going to mark 12 inches okay 12 inches so by the time i take the half of an inch here and here i'll come back to the 11 inches which is what i want for my sleeve opening in order to know um where your sleeve length is going to end the shoulder is actually 15. If you divide it by 2, that's 7.5. So from here, if I take 7.5 here, maybe just make it 8. That means from this point of the shoulder to this end point is going to be my sleeve length. Okay? So that's it. So, but of course, for my sleeve, I'm going to be giving a hemming allowance. I want to use about 2 inches for my hemming. So if I come in by 2 inches, what I mean by that, I'm going to be having a fold on my sleeve part like this. About two inches I'll use to do that. Okay? So which means from this same shoulder line to this point, so I have 13. So which means my sleeve is going to end, say, uh, at my elbow. Okay? Or a little bit just around this elbow point, which is okay for me. So that's it on that. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is here that I already marked out uh, my line for the sleeve opening. I'm going to extend this line. Then from this point, I want to indicate the waistline. I'll come to waistline. I'll make it at 18. So at this line, I'm going to impute my bust measurement, which is 44. If I divide it by 4, I have 11. So I'm going to be adding extra 3.5 inch because it is going to be a free dress. So 3.5 is okay. You can make yours lesser. 3.5 here. Then I'll come to the waistline, which is um, 40. If I divide it by 4, I have 10. I have my 10 inches here, plus extra 3.5 as well. So I'm just connecting the these lines together. The bust measurement to the waist. Okay? Yeah. So here, I'm going to give a curve here, because this is where the cut is going to be. So I'm going to give a curve at this angle here. So I'll just curve it this way. You can see this. So remember I said there's going to be 
um, a two inches fold on my sleeve point. So there's going to be a two inches fold on this sleeve part, okay? So guys, what is left now is to take this from this waistline now, I'm going to take it all the way to the floor length. So depending on how free you want it to be, on this lower part, you will also impute your hip measurement. Okay, so the hip is uh, 44 as well, so which is divided by 4, that's 11. So being an A-line, you can do um, 3 to 5 to even as much as you want, 10, depending on how bogus you really want it to be. So what I have here is um, about 11. So I'll just use the entire, you know, numbers of the fabric. So all I'll do now is just to take it from this waistline and drag it to the end point of the dress, okay? So from the waistline. So you can see this. So at this end line here, I'll just go up by say two inches. This is optional, please. Just to give this a little bit of curve to avoid this um, sharp edge. So I'm just giving it a slant just from here, curve it towards this point, okay? So I'm cutting this way. You can see this. So that's it, guys. So what is left now is to impute the neck measurement so i'm going to be using a neck uh, width of four it's okay four inches for the neck width so for the for the um back neckline i would like to use a um, four for the back neckline i'll give it a curve why for the front i'll make it five this is the front five. I'll also give it a curve as well. Please feel free to use your curve ruler. Okay, so the neck width of four, neck depth of four for the back, neck width of four, neck depth of um, five for the front piece. Guys, believe it or not, this outfit is ready. What is left now is to cut this out. So you see what I mean here when I said this is 12, like what to measure. So there's going to be a joining half of an inch here and half of an inch this way. So we're going to still come back to what our 11 inches, which is for the sleeve opening. And of course, like I said, this is the line. I said I'll be folding this lower part of the sleeve inwards like this, okay, in order to hem it. So that's it, guys. So I just like to notch the lines for the fold and also on this part okay then now i'll cut the first of all the back neckline So guys, you can see how this looks now. So this is the back um, face. They're actually the same. The only difference is just the neckline. So and here guys, you can see this is ready. You can see this all the way to the floor length. Like we're done. It's that simple. So what is left now is just to join this piece together. But before that, um, if you want to do anything on the on the neckline, 
depends on you now. Like if you want to do um, an embroidery just like what you have on the thumbnail, you can go ahead and do that, okay? And if you want to just make it plain, you turn with your bias or you use um, a facing, you can also do that or do some design, whatever your choice is, okay? So, but whatever I'm trying to say is this is the point where if you're going to do anything on your leg now, you first of all do it first when you're done before you now start joining the piece together, okay? So, um, for me, I'm just thinking of doing, I'm not decisive yet, but I just want to do something, you know, just a little bit of design on the neckline using the bias. So, I have this, I have this, um, set of bias tip I have here. I don't really know the one I'm going to even use. Whether I'm using one or, or maybe I'm going to mix it later. I'll just, you know, think of something. But whatever it is you do, the idea is um, you first of all give um, your your sketch on the neckline for. Say for instance, if I want to use my bias to create any form of design, let's say I want to do something like a curve like this. I'm going to first of all sketch it with my chalk. I can give it a curve, or you can do any form of you know design you want. Whatever it is, you just be creative here. Okay, whatever it is, but be sure to sketch it first and be sure you have the right sketch. Okay, you can do anything you want. So once you have the sketch of whatever it is you want to do, then you will now use your bias to follow that shape. I hope you understand. Once you are done finishing the neckline, both the front and the back piece, I'm just going to place it over each other. The right side, of course, facing each other. Then, what you will do is to join the shoulders. Remember, we're using half of an inch. So, you're going to sew half of an inch on both ends. So, first of all, if you sew half of an inch this way. So, once you're done sewing half of an inch this way on your shoulder line. So, you have um, the sleeve opening can have it spread open this way so this is the point where you can now make your fold okay so remember i gave a notch on both ends so i'm just going to follow that notch line and fold in my sleeve with half of an inch okay yes so that's it it's like very very easy so once you're done making your fold then you will come back to how you placed it and take your half of an inch at this end running through the armhole so you are taking this now straight down all the way to the floor length. You're going to repeat the same process to the other side, of course. Then the final thing, of course, will be to hem the lower part of the dress. Just hem, depending on the allowance you left, just hem it at the lower part, say half of an inch, and hem it again, and that's it. Trust me, guys, this outfit is ready. Like, you can see, this is very, very easy. Like, this is like one of the easiest um caftan dress you can, can make especially the fact that you have your sleeve caught together with it okay so that's it guys we're done believe it or not this outfit is good to go once you're done joining the side the only um delay you might have is if you're going to put a design or you're going to create a design on the neck and that's it yeah so that is it guys on how to make this beautiful doman a-line caftan dress Thank you so much for watching. If you really find this video helpful, please don't forget to um, share, like, comment. If you have any questions, suggestions, I'll appreciate that. Please drop it in the comment section. Okay. Thank you so much again to all my subscribers. Thank you guys for always um, stopping by, coming back. I appreciate you a lot. And if you're new, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to also on your notification bells on. Okay. Because that's the only way you get notified every single time I upload my weekly videos. Thank you again. Till I see you. On the next video, bye.